Today we're going to be focusing again on adding integers, but this time we're going to be using one of my favorite models of all time, a chip model. For this lesson, you are going to need to go to the side of the classroom and pick up a bag of chips that has both red and yellow chips. And I would also like you to get a chipboard, it's just the yellow board that's with them. Okay, so pause the video, go get your supplies, and come back ready to work. Okay, one thing you're going to notice with your chipboards is our yellows represent positives, so I've written that out here, and our reds represent negative. When you're using a chipboard to represent a problem like this, negative 5 plus negative 1, what you want to do is take your chips, as written, and go ahead and get, get them out. So we want negative 5, so go ahead and pull out 5 red chips. And to that negative 5, we're going to add negative 1. So see how we have my 5 red chips? And now I'm going to add 1 red chip. For this, adding means combining. So I'm putting all these things together. So you, all you have to do is simply look and count and see how many there are. And you can see that we have 6 red chips. Since red represents negative, that means that negative 5 plus negative 1 equals negative 6. Okay, see it? Sometimes things get a little bit more complicated though, so I need to introduce you to this idea of a zero pair. You're going to notice that whenever you have a positive and a negative together, positive and negative are opposites. When you have positive one and negative one and you add them together, it's really important to know that positive one and negative one equals zero. So anytime I see this zero pair on my board, a plus and a minus together, it kind of ends up cluttering the idea up and I don't need it. I can take away a zero. That does not change the value of my board. So it's really important to notice if you have a zero pair, you can take it away. I like to kind of grab it, pull it off the board, and say, I'm zeroing out. We're going to need to use the idea of a zero pair to solve a problem like this. So I have negative 3 plus positive 5. So I'll build that on my board, and I want you to build along with me. So you're going to put 3 negatives on your board. And then you're going to do five positives. Okay, now this isn't quite as easy as the first example that I gave you because it's not just like, hey, look at there, there's six negatives or something like that. There's three negatives and five positives. So remember what I said about a zero pair? Let's try to group those up together. I'm going to notice I have a zero pair here a zero pair here, and a zero pair here. So let me get to a little prettier version. Right here I've got my zero pairs, and what I can do is now that I have those zero pairs, I can get rid of them from the board. So right there, right there, right there, take them off the board, I'm zeroing out. Now it looks simple and clean, and what's left, we have negative three plus positive five. After we zeroed out, you can see there are two positives left. So negative 3 plus 5 equals 2. All right, let's look at another one. If you're feeling pretty comfortable, you might want to try this one on your own. It's negative 7 plus 2. So go ahead, if you, if you think you're ready for it, pause the video, try this, and see if you agree. So to represent negative 7, I'm going to put 7 red chips on the board. Might be a little bit of a tight squeeze getting those on, and then I need two yellows. Okay, I can't just obviously tell what's there, so I need to use my idea of a zero pairs and zero out everything that I can. And again, it looks like I've got a zero pair here and a zero pair here. So I'm going to pull those guys off the board. Choomp, choomp, I'm zeroing out. Notice we have five reds left. That means negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. Okay, we'll do one more example together and see if you've got the hang of this. Three numbers. Oh no, panic time! Now I hope that the idea makes you not have to panic and that you can kind of do this. Go ahead and try it again on your own if you'd like. We've got 2 plus negative 4 plus 5. So I'm going to build this up. I'm going to put two yellows, because these are positives. Whoops, something happened there. Um, try that again. So we got two 
negative four, four of these, and five. I'm gonna put positive five. I'm just gonna stack it over here just because I wanna line up my zero pairs eventually. So you don't have to do that. So I've got positive two, negative four, and five. Again, there's a lot there, so I want to get rid of everything I can. I see a zero pair here, 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 here. Whew. If I start getting rid of all my zero pairs, taking them away, you can notice. Let me just get rid of all of these. Ah, I'm zeroing out. Ah, I'm zeroing out. Okay, what's left on my board is three positives. That means two plus negative four plus positive five equals three. Okay, for now, since you've learned a couple different models of how to add integers, when you see a problem now, I want you to try to do it with a number line and with chips and see if you get the same answer until you're getting really comfortable and confident with both of these methods. Good luck.